wonder how spinach that's a bit past due, or simply won't look pretty in a salad, means it's time for frittata. He begins by placing a few handfuls of Popeye's favorite food into a strainer. Then he washes it thoroughly under the city's flowing spring waters. Using a skillet large enough to hold the spinach, he places it over medium-high heat. To this, he adds the rabbit food. And since he needs to whittle it down, he adds a decent amount of sodium chloride. This he will cover with aluminum. Then, he sets his favorite 10-inch iron to warm. With the power of magic, he peels an onion like a wizard on Wizard's Eve, and chop-chops it into a container. Surprisingly, no tears were shed. Once his iron is warm, he adds a large amount of Popeye's girlfriend, and using a silicone brush, rubs it around the skillet, making sure to coat the walls with the oil of olives as it will come into play later. He adds his onions, listening for the sizzle which indicates that the pan is sufficiently heated. After a good stir, he salts this as well. Then he preheats his oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now he needs 8 eggs. However, it seems that many of his eggs are cracked, or simply stuck. After gathering his 8 eggs on the cutting board, he reaches for his bowl, which he will crack them into. Afterwards, he counts. It appears that he is short one egg, since one of the eggs was frozen and unusable. The quest for the last egg begins. When he returns, he has one final egg to rule them all. The king egg is cracked and added to the bowl, and using pincers, he removes the accidental shell, to which it appears he tosses onto the floor. The spinach seems to be whittling nicely. He moves it around to assure it doesn't burn, covers it again, and checks on his onions. A shake shake and a stir stir, and the onions seem to be getting well acquainted. So he puts his spoon down and returns to the eggs, which he heavily salts because after all there are eight of them. Then using a four prong trident, he scrambles them. Once well combined, he takes his pre-chicken soup to the stovetop and cleans. Because ants. He adds more oil to his onions, because more oil means less sticking, and it appears that his spinach is done. Moving the spinach into a single heap makes it easier to pour into a small bowl, which he then proceeds to smash the ever-living drop of water from the green leaves. With the spinach drained and set aside, he turns his attention to the onions, which need spreading. So he spreads them out nice and even, like happy little onions just frying away, making the kitchen smell delightful. Then he carefully pours in his scrambled pre-chickens, making sure to get every last drop. He tops it with all the spinach that he drained, which gives it a beautiful color contrast. And he dollops on goat cheese wherever he so pleases, making it rather cheesy. The skillet with the golden valuables is then thrown into the hot oven. He sets a timer for 10 minutes, and walks away. When he returns, using a towel or some sort of heat-resistant rag of sorts, he removes the pan from the oven and places it onto the stovetop. The frittata will continue to cook in the pan, but it has developed a very smooth custard feel. Using a spatula, he removes a rather large piece. Carefully removing it, he will plate it on its own. It is a main dish and a side dish, but he must importantly drizzle it with extra virgin olive oil. This is absolutely necessary. Comment down below what you add to your frittatas, and make sure to watch these other videos. Until next time, eat well.